Now, uh, question 7 says uh, this is the number. What is the next number in the pattern? So, we have um, 45. Now, the next number is uh, 51. Now, let's see what's the pattern. This is 45. Notice there's a difference of 6. Now, the next number is 57. Notice there's also a difference of 6. Now, the next number is what? 59. Notice there's a difference of 2. Now, the next number is... Um, it's um, 65. Notice there's a difference of 6. The next number is um, 71. Notice there's a plus 6. Now let's study the pattern. It adds 6 here, add 6 here, then adds 2. Then it adds 6 is again, add 6. So that means it's going to add what? 2 next. So the next number is going to be 71 plus 2, and that's going to give us what? 73. So the correct answer here is um, A. So I'll mark my A. So question, it says uh, Karanje, Wanjala, and Amina and Amina weighed themselves. Karanje weighed 46.8 kg, Wanjala weighed 0 0.5 kg heavier than Karanja, while Amina was 1.3 kg lighter than Wanjala. What was their total mass altogether? Now notice, Karanja weighed... 46.8 kg. Now, Wanjala weighed uh, 0 0.5 kg he heavier than Karanja. That's 46.8 plus 0 0.5. Now, that's going to give us, uh, this is 3 points. Um, you put that, if you add it up, you're going to get 47.3 kg. Then, Amina Amina is going to be 1.3 kg lighter than Wanjala. So Wanjala, it, Amina will be 47.3. Subtract, that will give us um, 1.3. So this will give us 3 minus 3 is 0. 0.47 minus 1 is 46.0 kg. So the question says, what was their total mass? So in order to get their total mass, all I need to do here, it's... Um, I'm going to sum up uh, 46.8 plus 47.3 plus and um, 47.3 plus this will be 46.0. Now here it's going to be um, 8 plus 3 is going to give us 1 point. You carry 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus is plus 6 is 20, you carry 0, and then 2, this is 4 plus 4, plus 4, that's 12, plus 2, that's 14. So their total weight is 140.1 kg, and the correct answer here, it's going to be um, B. So I'm going to mark my B. So, um, having said that, the next question says, um, what is the value of 4.8 times 18.3 divided by 6 times 0 0.6. Okay, so this is going to be a 4.8 times 18.3 all divided by 6 times 0 0.6. The best way to do this is to take out the decimal place. So uh, we're going to move our decimal place. Um, this will take this out. So this is going to be 48. We'll take this out. This is going to be 183. And we move these two places, so 1, 2. Why are we moving two places? Because you moved 1 and 2 here. So whatever you do to the up, you do to the down. So this is 1, 2. So that means 0 is going to come here. Now this is what our value is going to look like. That's 48 times 183, all divided by 6 times 60. Remember, we moved two places here, so you introduce 0. So we've... Now we've removed the decimal places, we can now divide. So this is uh, 6 here, it's 1, um, 6 into um, 48 is going to give us um, 8. So here, what else can divide? Um, 4 can divide here, 4 here, it's 2, and um, 4 here, it's going to give us um, 15. Now, 3 can divide here. 3 here is going to give us um, 5. 
3 here, it's going to give us uh, 6 and 1. So we have uh, 2 times 61 divided by 5. So this is going to give us um, 122 all over 5. So if we do our long division, 5 into 122. 5 into 12 is going to give us um, 2. 5 times 2, um, we are going to get... Um, 5 times 2, we are going to get 10. So this is going to give us 2. We bring down 2. 5 into 22, you are going to get um, 4. 5 into 4, you get 20 all into 2. Now, 5 cannot divide 2 any longer. So here, we are going to add um, dots and we put the uh, 0. So 5 into 20, you're going to get 4. So 5 times 4, 20, and you get subtract, you get 0. So um, from here, you can see, now we have 0. Our final answer is going to be 24.4, final answer. So for me, the correct answer here is B. So as easy as that, you can attempt all these questions. Now, question 10 says, um, what is 9, 6? 2.997 rounded off to one decimal place now remember in one decimal place all they just want to see is just dot one number so now notice it's going to affect this number so what's the highest number here it's nine so we are going to round this number off and add one so it's going to give us nine six three point zero final answer as easy as that you can solve this question so the correct answer here, it's um, C. Now, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to click on the notification bell to get more KCP videos from us.